Hey guys, H-Town Werewolf. Hey, what do I have here for you guys today? So I'm out at the ranch with my SIG 551A1. This is the poor version, the US version. And uh, what sets this one apart is that this takes the Rock and Lock mags, just like the old school 551. Long story short, me and Clay hit up a, uh, a gun show in Conroe. Uh, this gentleman that uh, Clay always talks to, I think his company is called Crow Arms. He's, uh, I think he's out of Fosher, I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken. He had this sitting on the, on the shelf. And so Clay gave me the story on it. And uh, man, I was like, what? I didn't realize that these things were all the hotness. So he had a really good price on it. I was able to get a, a, a little bit of a discount since uh, Clay does business with them quite a bit. And uh, I got it. So that's the story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> no, but in all, in all fairness, this thing is, this thing is awesome. It's uh, it shoots really nice. It's kind of heavy, so it sucks up that recoil, but you don't really get too much recoil on two to three anyways. And just that aesthetic, man, just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Uh, I did add some goon tape to the front hand guards here. They were a little wobbly, so I added some goon tape there. And uh, I added goon tape right there where the uh, shells e eject. You'll start getting that uh, that area will start peeling. The paint will start peeling from all the, the brass hitting it. And uh, that's pretty much all I've done to it. So anyways, enjoy this uh, shooting footage. Well, check this out guys so i just added the uh mfi top rail to it i didn't have a rear sight so this rail uh comes with the rear sight I, I was thinking about running this as lethal weapons with the uh, rear sight you also have to replace the front sight post so i did that yesterday but i've been shooting this without the uh, red dot today and that front sight post is thick. So, man, I wasn't very accurate. I was uh, shooting out at 50 yards. I mean, I'm on paper, but that front sight, the the iron or the uh, front sight post is so thick, it covers up my uh, two inch by two inch uh, red square down, down range. So I think I'm gonna run this with the uh, red dot. I'm running a uh, MRO on this Trigicon MRO. And then this thing is nice. Now remember for for lethal weapons, uh, you have to run a flesh hider. It can't be any break. So I've got a, this is my Velator flesh hider. And this one was made specifically to work with the Gemtech Halo. So I can still put a suppressor on this if I want to. So there it is guys. SIG 551A1. Man, I've just been out here just practicing with it. Doing some uh, barricade shooting. Shooting off of the uh, tank trap back there and uh, just getting familiar with the reloads because this thing It's two coupled magazines, right? So you can go into each uh, stage with 60 rounds ideally Whenever you have to run between parts of the stage That's when you would make your mag change So you would you would do the mag change in between you have to choose your spot and uh, It would never it would never go empty, ideally. So, all right, well, I'm gonna do some drills on the barricade and off the tank trap. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Oh, and by the way, man, thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, all that helps the uh, channel. I'm trying to get this channel to grow, but 
it's a little slower. You know how YouTube doesn't really push our content around, so. All right, guys, let me do some more of the shooting with this. All right, barricade shooting time. It's got this uh, bolt release right there. So you press up on it, bam, there you go. Oh. Nice. Ooh, the thing is smoking. Very nice. Man, this thing shoots so nice. The trigger is a little spongy, but once you get used to that reset, you can ruck it. You can run it, I mean, not ruck it. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hot out here, guys. I'm melting. I'm out.